Welcome. Today we will be discussing how we can operate a pneumatic cylinder with a PLT. Before starting, I would like you guys to please subscribe this channel and stay connected for the more video tutorials. First, we will discuss the setup for the today's tutorial. We have a PLC and a switch connected to it. Switch is connected at I0.0 input of the PLC. We will be using the signal of this switch to activate the pneumatic cylinder. Next, we have a pneumatic solenoid valve to supply the compressed air to the cylinder. This solenoid has a coil which operates at 24 volt DC. This coil is connected at Q0.0 output terminal of the PLC. So when this output Q0.0 is turned on, this coil gets energized and it supplies the compressed air to the cylinder and cylinder shaft actuates a linear motion. We have installed a reed switch on the cylinder body. The output of this reed switch is connected to I0.1 input terminal of the PLC. This reed switch confirms that the cylinder shaft is fully extended outwards and send a 24 volt signal at the PLC input. Now go to the programming software and do some programming to make this thing working. In network 1 we will take a normal open contact of the switch I0.0 and connects an output coil Q0.0 with it. So, whenever the switch is activated, this normal open contact gets closed and it will activate the pneumatic sunlight connected at Q0.0 PLC output. In network 2, we will take normal open contact of the sunlight Q0.0 and normal close contact of the read switch I0.1 and put them in series with a 2 second safety timer. The network tool is to detect the malfunctioning of the cylinder. For example, if we activate this cylinder and the cylinder shaft stuck in the middle and cannot get extended out fully, and the piston of the cylinder shaft cannot reach the read switch, the normal close contact I0.1 will remain closed and it will activate the timer. If the cylinder fails to extend its shaft fully out in 2 seconds, it will activate the alarm buzzer in the machine to activate the machine operator to take some corrective action. Now let's test the program. As we turn the switch on, it will activate the sunlight Q0.0 and this sunlight supplies the compressed air to the cylinder and the cylinder shaft start to move outwards. Once the cylinder shaft is fully extended, its piston position is picked up by the read switch and its normal close contact I0.1 opens up and disables the safety timer. Now let's see a scenario where the cylinder malfunctions. As we turn the switch on, it will activate the sunlight Q0.0 and this sunlight supplied the compressed air to the cylinder and the cylinder shaft starts to move outward. But in the halfway, the cylinder shaft stuck and the shaft piston cannot reach the read switch. The normal close contact I0.1 of the read switch remain closed and the safety timer continues. Once the two seconds are over, the timer will activate the buzzer to allow the machine operator to take the corrective action. So this is a short video tutorial how we can activate safely a cylinder with a PLC. Please share, like and subscribe this channel and till next video take care and goodbye.